Hey, I want to just talk about uh, logic and using logic as a live st- for your live stream as a church or for whatever else you want to do. Um, we are we are a church and we use we're using logic as a DAW as a process live processing for our live stream. And so, if you want to do that too, it, it very much enhanced our sound. It was very it's fantastic. It solved all our issues, all of our problems, and so. Hopefully, uh, this th- quick video will help you. So, first of all, we have um, we are running an X32. You can use whatever whatever you want. Uh, but you got to get you got to get sound audio from here into your computer. We're using USB, and we go straight in. We created our um, our channels. We just run them as tracks. Uh, we set them all to record like that. Record enable. Uh, they have to be record enable or they won't um, you won't be able to rehear them and then we send our stereo output uh, so we go if you go up into logic pro and you go into audio you can set your input and output so we are input is x x and and it's x there as well and then what that is if you go to io it'll tell you uh, we, we you can select which outputs you want to use we choose 29 and 30 as your output right so when you're when you sh- your output device is your X32, same as your input, and then you got to go to I/O and select where you want that to go. It will eat up two channels on your X32, but you can do it like that. And what happens is the every all the every channel comes in progressively. Are you right? We have one, we have two, three, four, all the way up, and so we reroute all of our instruments, all of our tracks, whatever we're playing, into here into logic and we 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 can mix live mix them as we go through you can put compressors as you know i would recommend that you not put too much uh or you will overload your computer unless you have a fast computer the other the other thing to if you have an issue with not being able to hear sound you need to come up and have this green one here if it's not it's software monitoring you can actually click here um where is it right here if you go to this one and click this little tiny down arrow oh that's not the right one uh, oh, maybe it's customized. Yeah, there it goes. And you can find software monitoring. It is right there. You have to have software monitoring on. Actually, you don't have to. At first, we didn't have to, but something went wonky, and now we have to have that on, or we get zero sound. As you can see, there's sound there. If I shut it, if I shut it off, I got zero sound coming through now. So you have to have that on. But other than that, it's, you just set it up as you would like a normal recording thing. Uh, you can actually record live if you want to record live. If your computer's fast enough, we don't because our computer's not fast enough. It takes up a lot of uh, live processing. Uh, we just have an eight gigabyte um, M1 Mini running this, and so it, it actually bogs down if we if we uh, press record if we're recording all these channels. So you can do it, set it up, blah 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 blah. Uh, the one thing you want to do is you want to put a limiter on here. Uh, and have minus 2 dB or you can put a zero we put minus 2 dB as your output uh, so that way otherwise you may get some distortion obviously you don't want this clipping the whole time you can adjust your up and down but we found if we put that limiter on we get the maximum volume on our live stream if you're having volume issues this is one way to avoid that you get um, maximum volume and so then we route it back into our, our our x32 we route it to these two channels you have to go over to here to a routing page and you go all the way over to whoops routing all the way over to uh to user and then you got to go into input and you can go um, um you got to go down to 29 and 30 right there as you can see 29 and 30 you're not gonna be able to hear anything and you have to go to down to here they have to be on card card in right so you can see here 29 and 30 card in if it's not in card in you're not going to be receiving you're going to it's on send mode um so however you can figure that there's other ways to do this too you could have sections or banks right if you go to um uh, you know if you go to your here where is it yeah i guess it's here you could select a whole section to be receiving cards or whatever there we just do everything user so we can select every channel so we go 29 and 30 and make sure it's on card in and out 29 and 30 and then what that does is that the the stereo output comes back through usb into 2930 right it uses the card 2930 and then we uh, give me a sec 
call them back. And then what we do is we route 29 and 30 to go out into uh, into the um, um, into the ox. So um, let's see here. So 29 and 30. Let's go ox. So you got to go to the ox button here. So go to we were in user. Go to ox. And you can go to aux one and two, and you can actually change that to direct output. And you can select where you want, which output you want. Um, and so, let's see, we have it on direct out. Where do we have it? 29 and 30, right? So 29 and 30. And then it's very important that you select this one. If it's on mute, when you mute something here, you want that. Maybe you want that. I don't want that. I want raw signal, pre-mute. So you have to have it on this one. Select. Uh, aux left and right, we use aux 1 and 2 for 29 and 30, and then we just go out from the back of our board, aux 1 and 2 is right here. We go into just, uh, you know, one of these, uh, eighth inch, and it goes into our ATEM, however you want, but you can, route, routing is pretty simple, out into whatever, whatever thing you have. And then you get this high quality, completely separate mix. You can put a little bit of compressor, a little bit of noise, a little bit of whatever you want on your live stream and you can send it directly in here. It'll encode with your video and you have this high quality, very, very loud, right? Cause you can, cause you can, uh, you can set this so that you're right at zero or even peaking a little bit and then a limiter squishing it down. It maximizes that noise. You can add a little bit of gain to your limiter if you want to. Uh, on our preaching mic, our pastor's mic, we have this turned all the way up and we have a limiter on it and, uh, and, a, and a, you know, we put our own EQ so it sounds really, really crisp. If you want to go and select through our live stuff, you can look. Obviously, we, it's not perfect. We don't spend a lot of time on it, but it sounds a lot better than it did just having like a matrix out or a bus out or whatever we happened to do before. So hopefully this helps you. You can use Logic and have uh, and run it like that you have to come from here through usb and then send two channels back through the card right go, go into user make sure they're on card uh your 29 and 30 or whatever ones you want to use are on card and then you can run it straight into whatever live streaming thing you're using and that'll be very very helpful to you so hopefully this helps and simplifies everything